Hey guys, what's up? So, having some issues with my valve covers. Ever since I converted over to aluminum heads, uh, right now I'm currently running Edelbrock E Street heads, but even with my uh, Pro Comp heads, I had the Chibo Pro Camps for a while. Um, same thing, just, you know, I never had the problem with the, the cast iron heads, so. And I've tried cork gaskets, I've tried, um, right now I have the Edelbrock, the thick uh, felt ones on there. Well, at least they, they feel like they're felt. And I also have the, uh, the Permatex, uh, steel reinforced uh, rubber ones leak with those too but I think one of the issues is these things always get loose so I got some studs over at a local uh, hardware store and uh, I'm gonna see if I can make that work you know I'll take a look at my engine here it leaks fluid oil on both covers and then it gets on my transmission pan you can see oil right there and it just makes a mess so I'm gonna degrease my engine and I'll be back tomorrow. I let it dry overnight. But yeah, you can see right there, it's oil leak. Just a nightmare. It's just, it's just a headache, man. It's like, plus I mean, I use expensive oil in, the, in this thing now that the engine's broken in. I, use, uh, I also use arch oil in this thing. So I have arch oil and royal purple just drain out of this engine. So, hope I can get it fixed. Uh, let me show you what I got. I got these little studs right here. Got these over at McFadden to Hardware if you're in Orange County. California, but um, I don't know. Like I said, this I don't know if this will fit. I can't do all of them. I can't do the center one, but I don't know if this is going to fit in the valve cover or not. All right, there it is. So those are some Scorpion rockers. Like I said earlier, these are Edelbrock E Street heads, and then I have ARP uh, head studs. Um, so what's up? Let me show you the valve cover. That's the current Edelbrock gasket. I'm using and this is actually what I've used in the past. So this is the Permastec, Perm, Perm, uh, I they call it, uh, Permatex, all in one, like the metal uh, reinforced. And this is like a, the Edelbrock, it's like a felt gasket. So I'm going to take this off and go back, clean up all the surfaces. I'm going to try, try my luck with this Permatex again one more time. If not, then I'll have to go back to cork because I mean I've already tried everything you know like if you notice this is kind of like a not exactly 100% smooth it's kind of like a like a cast material so I might run some sandpaper all over that just to smooth it out just a little bit all right so I don't think I'm able to use those those uh, studs I bought kind of a bummer there's like 14 bucks um, at least with those nuts just because let's see look, look at the size of that I won't build my socket wrench in there to tighten them down, so that kind of sucks. I mean, I guess I could put a washer in there, a couple of washers, bring it up a little bit. I guess I'll see that. I'll take a look at that. Maybe two washers might bring it up enough where I can get my socket in there. But down there, I've already tested with my socket. All right, so all these threads are filled with oil, so I'm using my carb cleaner. I'm going to blow it out and uh, obviously put a thing here so it doesn't get down on my oil. So, all right. So I'm kind of bummed I couldn't use my studs, but uh, I figured that might be a problem with those valve covers. Not all valve covers, just those ones, the way they're made. So I had to go and buy like a shorter Allen thing here, and I'll show you real fast. Because this one would be too long. This would actually bottom out in the thread hole. That one would thread out in the bottom of the hole before it actually was going to seal long enough. So I had to get some shorter ones. So this would actually get a good clamp on the on the seal on the valve cover. So I think once I have a washer in there, that should be perfect right there. I mean, if they're too short, it's gonna be hard to grab a thread. I'm gonna wipe down the valve cover seal with this, uh, it's sort of like a aquifer like knockoff here. Uh, but that kind of is to prevent water from uh, getting out, but I want to lube the seal up just a little bit too, you know? All right, so this side is way harder, but uh, it's already back on. One of the cool things about that Permatex gasket is that you can't over uh, torque it. So it's not Permatex, sorry, it's Felpro. <laughs> Put a link where you can get it. The uh, reinforced aluminum or reinforced steel. But yeah, to take the throttle body off, I had to mess with my thing up here. Total headache. So, all right, got it back on though. So, and yeah, like I said, I can't over torque it. So, it's cool. All right, guys, so let's go add some more 5W30. Actually, my uh, truck runs a lot better with a thinner oil. So, I feel like I have more power. 
Yeah, I feel like it's inter like, uh, reduced internal friction. All right, there it is. Just threw some engine shine on there. So we'll see. I guess the good news is I was able to torque them down as hard as I could. Well, not as hard as I could, but I mean, reasonably hard. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to break the bolts off here. Um, but so, we'll see. Time will tell, you know. In the next few thousand miles, I'll know if I have leaks again. But um, yeah, I think I'd tried these before. I'm not sure if with these heads or a different pair like Pro Comps I had for a while. Um, which kind of sucks. The Pro Comp sucks. Um, I made other videos about it, but they're, they're, what's it called? The rockers were off. Like the, the rocker where the studs are at, they were off. They didn't, weren't straight with the valve. So the, the rocker wouldn't seat straight on the valve, uh, the valve tip. But, all right, so, looking good. This thing is actually pretty fast. <laughs> all right, guys, cool.